discussion? Okay, Mr. Mayor. While you were talking, you said you're going to go to the associations. So when you go to the associations, are you going to go there and say, uh, Wooddale have decided to make us your provider and we need to discuss a price? Or how, how's that going to work? I mean, what I would first do is identify. I mean, I don't even know how many, I mean, I, I have a sense of how many you have. First thing I would do is identify all the associations, okay? Then I would work with staff to identify, you know, what kind of sizes are we talking about? Do you have some in the 100 plus category, 100 units plus? Are most of them in the, you know, six to 12 units? Probably about two or three price points inside of that, okay? Then I would roll out, you know, what kind of current service levels do they have? This is what the new program would look like. This is what we propose. This is what the recycling would be. This is how much more recycling you can expect. And then we'd review that with staff to make sure that everybody's, you know, from a pricing standpoint, is comfortable. And then we move forward. And then, then you know, once the city says, okay, this makes sense to us, okay, we're comfortable that there's going to be some, that there's not going to be any cost increases to our to our residents. In addition to that, they're all going to get the opportunity to recycle. We, the city, are going to have a single point of contact now for our recycling and our waste services. We're going to have less trucks on our streets in our residential areas, okay, which is the place you want less trucks, all right? Go. It's good to go. Then we go out and contact the associations. And it's not going to happen overnight. It'll probably be a six-month process, you know, by the time you say yes and says the implementation is going to take a period of time. Then we start contacting them so that we can be prepared. And what if... Let's say we have 10 associations and three of them say, you know what, we really love the guys who have been taking care of us. They've been doing a great job for the last eight years, and we want to stay with them. We don't want you. Then what happens? Well, I think you make the same decision you made when you, when, when you did with the curbside residential. You might, at some point, you know, there's, there's towns where you might have had somebody else coming down the street to pick up somebody's trash, and you just said in the best interest of the community, we just don't want those extra, tru <coughs> extra trucks in here. I mean, you, you know, it's it's a community wide it's a community wide thing, and you know, if the pricing isn't isn't an issue and the cost is is comparable and they can now recycle, I don't know why you would want the additional truck. Oh, I got to go to Alleman first. Alleman Wesley, that raises a very serious question that you just made that comment. Here's a statement that I just heard out here tonight. If, correct me if I'm wrong here. If there's, say we got 10 associations and three choose not to do that. You're put, you made a statement that it's gonna be up to the council to almost force them into do this. Because if they choose to leave their own garbage company the way they want because they were still cheaper. Okay, you said that if I'm mistaken, the statement that I came from the comment you made, that this council is going to have to force these people into this program. Did I get that statement wrong? Or, or, or was I daydreaming here? Because if that's the case, then far I'm concerned this conversation is over with them. Because I'm not about to sit up here, if a garbage, if an association could get it cheaper, and they choose not to go with them, and we got three that don't want to do it, and now you're forcing this council to make that decision for these residents and this high rises? Absolutely not. I don't think it's. Yeah, it wasn't. I was, okay. I, I okay. wasn't. I would. All I, all, the question that was put to me was if somebody liked their, liked their their company. I, I don't. You know, to me, whether they like the colors of somebody else's truck wouldn't be a, a, an important impact to your decision. Your cost would be, and that's why I said at the very beginning, we would lay this out with staff to review everybody's costs and see where they're at. But relative to somebody just liking the color of their current vendor's trucks or for some other reason, I wouldn't think that, that would be um, worthy enough. Mr. Smarski has been hitting me to, can I go to you first? And then yeah, at the end of the day, it's our job to find out and make sure this garbage gets picked up in this town, regardless of whether or not you want it for one building or the other. And let it be up to them. If they don't want it, they don't have to have it. But you have to pick up the garbage. You just can't sit there and say, just forget about all this. So I don't know where, where you guys want to go with that. Okay. 
Mr. City Manager has been waiting patiently. Thank you, Alderman Wesley. Um, let's just backtrack a minute here. We're not forcing um, anybody's hand. We're not forcing them to pay higher prices. Um, we've done some research. This is the direction that municipalities are going. We're trying to, if anything, save costs and become more efficient. Let's, let's remember, I, I remember this specifically, that the uh, toter cans and the recycling wasn't that big of a hit, and not everybody liked that at first. Now because, of, and some residents probably still don't like the new toters, but because a handful of residents don't like the new toters, does that mean that they don't participate in the garbage program and don't do the toters? I mean, that's the garbage program that's made our community look cleaner. It's made things more efficient. Um, if the council doesn't want to go this route, that's fine. A lot of municipalities don't. This is just an option that staff research that's possible. We could become more efficient. It may work for us. If the council doesn't like this idea, certainly find to, to drop the idea. Okay, since Solomon Woods didn't say nothing, and then Solomon Coach. <laughs> yeah, I, kind of more a comment than a question if I'm following this, and I think one of the concerns uh, is what that cost is going to be, and if they're paying a lower price now, how are you going to beat that price? And I, and I guess, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that would come in by way of uh, just numbers because you're doing the whole community. You've got less cross time or weaving time. You're not going from Elk Grove Village to pick up a building in Wooddale and then to Schomburg to pick up a building and then over to Addison to pick up a building. You're just making a circle much like you do with the residential area. I'm assuming that that's where the cost savings is coming and that's how you're going to beat the prices. Uh, that along with, I'm sure, there's some savings with the recycle versus, you know, just regular garbage or solid waste. Uh, am I correct in those assumptions? Okay. Yep, I would agree with that. I, I mean, I don't know if that answers the questions that, that some people were asking or not, because I had the same question of if we take over the garbage, who are we to impose? And my fear would be that we're going to come in with a higher price, but viewing how the system's going to work, I can see where they would beat uh, the price that everybody's got right now, or at least that would be my hope. Anyway, thank you. Okay. You, first of all, you said you would go over and talk to the home, homeowners association, so that way we don't have nothing to do with it. You're doing the talking. You're setting the, so the price of what they're going to do. We're not setting anything. All we're doing is saying we want to get the city all working together so we don't have stuff flying around or having trucks coming in at 4 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock in the morning, like some do, that uh, pick up the things and they don't put the... the, the containers back into the rack or anything like that. You, we can depend on just, if we find a rack that uh, the, the, the container not put in, we know who to call to have them put it back in because it's done by you. So I mean, that's, I don't know, we don't, we're not setting no prices. They're the ones that's gonna set the price. We pay our price on our garbage. And I'll tell you what, since you went, we went to the green can and the brown can, our streets have been cleaner all together, all the way around. And I, I have more stuff recycled than I do garbage. And that's only me and my wife. So uh, they're doing a good job. So let them, let them, let them do what they want to do and come back to us and then we'll Either we'll vote for it, yes, or vote for it, no. Simple as that. But I think you, you, you want to, we want to get the town together. Like we did with electricity. All right? So I don't know what we're arguing with. Okay. Alderman uh, Winger. <laughs> okay, so um, right now our current contract 
when I when we were renegotiating, uh, one of my concerns was, well, if some of my constituent uh, homeowners associations did want to be a part of it, I explored that. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like, uh, Mr. Wilson, you want to explain that process because what I gathered at negotiations times was is that an association could come forward and say, I want to be a part of this, how much is it? And 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 then determine if they want to add on to the contract or not. So I mean it, it might even be worthwhile to send a, to, to start on who wants this and see where it goes from there. But um uh, Mr. Ray Wesley, it looks like Mr. Wilson wants to explain that that part. Is that okay? Oh sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Chairman Wesley. Uh, yeah, you are correct. Uh, shortly after the contract was renewed um, with Allied and then Republic Services, the parent company, there were a few pockets of homeowners associations that came to the city that wanted to join the city's program. Um, I guess I'll say, unfortunately, they were part of a larger, I don't want to say community or network of uh, homeowners associations. Um, I believe um, one was in Dominion and one might have been over on Spruce. And the manager at the time said unless all the associations got together and wanted to join as one, he wasn't going to go for it. So that's why that never went anywhere with the associations at the time. And staff was also directed not to approach the associations but let the associations talk amongst themselves if they liked it. So you can just imagine if you're trying to get presidents of association boards together to try and agree on something, you can't do it. Um, so we did have a, a few come to us at that time, mm -hmm. but the, the direction we were given at that time was unless we got that entire pocket of townhomes, condos, mm -hmm. apartments, whatever it is, not to not to pursue it. Um, and just hearing the, the conversation here, and I don't want to make more work for Rick or not, um, I get that there's a lot of concerns with different pockets. And, and I don't know if Rick could even be amenable to this, but would it make sense for us to go to some of the pockets mm -hmm. that we think would be more contentious or more difficult, even see if they'd be on board with it? Mm -hmm. It's like uh, Manager Murma said, we didn't want to go to them if right. you weren't yeah. going to go along with it. But perhaps now, you know, it might be best to, to get a little interest to see if they will go along with it. Um, you know, not put the cart before the horse in, in either respect, um, but just do a little research if you think this is even worth exploring. Definitely, and like, is it okay? <laughs> okay, it, at Dominion, I'd be happy to coordinate an interest group among the six different associations to, to see what where they wanna go with it, you know, just as a preliminary litmus test of whether it's favorable or not as a pilot discussion. I'm just throwing it out there if you want to. All oh, the hands going up here is like a slot machine. But, uh, you know, are we opening ourselves up here for liability too? Because, you know, Alleman Winger, you lived over by Dominion. You guys pay for your streets to be repaved and, and uh, maintained and everything else. These trucks that come in are very, very heavy sometimes. And when the trucks do the damage, nothing against your company, they, they come in and grab it and, and you don't know what those trucks weigh and the damage that they could do to the, to the uh, drive and then, then the association's coming back to us and say, well, you know what? It's your supplier that did the damage to the street, to, to our pave, to our parking lot, so now you gotta replace it. So now we're repaving parking lots too. So I wanna keep that in mind and then we're gonna go to, I'll give it three more and that's it, and then I'm going to stop it. So who who's next? Alderman? Woods, you're the mayor, sorry. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can wrap this up. Um, I just want to go back to uh, the start. What Exactly what is it that you were looking for? Just direction to explore this concept? Because it seems like this might have gotten expanded a little further uh, than it needs to be. Just go ahead. It would be my strong recommendation, uh, specifically because we. I feel the commercial component is more important, but this is the gateway to that. That we not abandon this altogether, and at the very least, 
go and talk to these associations, get some uh, quantifiable numbers. If you're conceptually open to this, we weren't going to talk to anybody until you gave us an okay as far as you're conceptually open to it, or else we would have just spun our wheels and wasted time. So yes, um, I, I recommend that we don't just drop this tonight and just conceptually get a, a straw poll on if we like this and to go talk to some people about it. Okay, then in an effort to bring this to a conclusion, I'll make a motion to direct staff to go out and talk to the associations and develop some pricing for them. I'll second. Okay, and we have one more question. Right? Mayor? All I was going to say is I don't have a problem with us going out to the, all the associations and asking them because they might all go for it, but you know, we might have two or three that have 40 units each complaining. What, what do we do? And your, your answer was, well, the city can make them join. I don't know. I don't know if. Because it depends why they're complaining, right? I mean, right. I mean, if you're giving them a better price, I would imagine right. they're going to they're gonna go with you. Right. And so to at least go out and look, I, I, sure. it's to their benefit that you go, at least. My question is, who's going to repair for the, who's going to pay for the parking lot? Are we going to have this in agreement that too? Are you going to look at that too, Jeff? If the trucks do damage, go ahead. Uh, we can certainly have attorney bond look into that. We did have um, attorney bond look into this whole blanket agreement uh, process and there are some um, hurdles that we have to clear to do the commercial portion of this, but as far as the residential, um, it shouldn't be that burdensome, but your question we can certainly ask Attorney Bond. Yes. Okay. Well, we have a first and a second. Uh, let's do a all in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed. 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 Is that four to three? Four to three. Is that four to three? Best of work, though. Gene, Mike, and Roy all know it, right? Go ahead. Roll call. Uh, yeah, do a roll call. Alderman Roy Wesley? Opposed. Alderman Coles? Yes. Alderman Sismarski? No. Alderman Eugene Wesley? Opposed. Alderman Winger? Yes. Alderman Lazara? Yes. Alderman Woods? Yes. Motion passes. Got your direction, Jeff. Uh, can we review it for a little while longer? No, I'm just kidding. Yes, we have a direction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, Brad, you had a question. I forgot about you. What's your question? Actually, I addressed it uh, in answering Alderman Winger's question. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay. The audit uh, policy. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, when back in December, when we did the extension for Wolf and Company for an additional three years, um, staff had recommended also coming back to you with a policy to set guidelines for future audit bids, um, and the what staff was. Uh, getting as a general consensus was just to do a one-time five-year agreement and then that's it, five years and done. Um, and then rebid. The incumbent would not be able to rebid. Um, I did put a caveat in there unless they're the only qualified firm at the time. Uh, being in the Chicago metropolitan area, that should not be a problem. Um, but we at least wanted to give ourselves some latitude should something, I don't know, catastrophically odd happen. Um, so this is more of a conceptual thing. Um, we would write it up as an internal policy. Um, I presume we'd probably pass it as a resolution, just adopting the policy. Um, but just uh, to memorialize the agreement that it would be a five-year engagement with the incumbent not being able to rebid on the new engagement. You want that as a motion? 
Yes. Okay, I'll make that in a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Oh, aye. aye. I'm sorry. Yes. The hand went up late. All the way That's because you didn't look down here. <laughs> uh, Brad, if I'm just uh, the big change from what we agreed to earlier uh, in the year was that it was going to be a three-year engagement. I think that's what all the other engagements were, and now you want to change it to a five-year engagement. We were going to be three years, and they could get another three. So now we're changing that to five years, and they can't bid on the following five years. They're done. Is that correct? Correct. Thank you. Okay, I apologize. Any other questions? Okay. Oh. I'm looking down there. Go ahead, Mayor. Brad, when we, we were given the extension three more years, you're cutting them down to two more years only? Is that what you're saying? The next contract. After, after this next three years. Correct. So right now, has nothing to do with the, the next three years. He's not getting another five years. He's only getting three. No, correct. Only another three. And then after that. Yeah, I think Alderman Woods has a hand that might have understood it differently. Well, my understanding is you're going to give him five years. It's not three, and then he gets another. I guess technically from legal age you could say that, but you're asking us to commit. He's our auditor for the next five years. Am I correct? No. Back in December, they were granted a three-year yeah, extension. Three years. and Because they were the auditors the prior three years. And then in December, they um, voted on extending them for three years. And so at the end of that three-year period, then this five-year bullet provision would kick in. So this so would be five years after the existing three-year contract that they're under? No, no. Oh, they, oh, at, at, the end of, at the end of this three-year agreement with Wolf, they're done. they're done. They're done. And they would not be able to rebid on the next five-year engagement. So then why are we here? If they're going to be done at the end of the three-year contract that they have already, why are we talking about it? Uh, I'm, I'm missing something. Just go ahead. You guys are doing fine. We're not talking about the individual contract here. We're talking about our policy moving forward with auditing firms. So after we get out of the contract we're now moving forward, we follow this policy when we enter into a new agreement with any new auditing firm. Thank you. Makes sense now. Are we, any other questions? We have a motion, a we have a motion and a second, and I did a all, all in favor, favor but we'll do it again. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nothing. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Consider for future meeting our good old budget, March 8th. Need a motion for adjournment? Okay, make motion. Them. There's a second. Second. Uh, all in favor? Oh, I'm sorry. It's been an hour and a half. Okay. Go I'll ahead. Make it, I'll make it quick. Uh, just two things real quick. Um, one, um, I believe uh, the manager's mentioned it a couple times, but the budget will be coming to you tomorrow in the packet. Um, it's a short 235-page document. Um, it's on the copiers right now. Um, and secondly, there's been a couple legislative things going on that we've been following. Uh, staff as well as um, our lobbyist, uh, Mr. Marquart, have been following. Um, we're not sure what impacts those are going to have, if any, on the budget, if they're even going to pass. Um, some with... Um, I'm trying to think, some with agendas, some with uh, garbage contracts, and some with property taxes. So as more information becomes available, we'll get that out to you. But just wanted to at least give you guys a heads up that we are aware of these things. And as they progress through the, the House or the Senate, we'll be sure to give you an update if they're going to be impactful on the budget going forward. OK, thank you. Um, how late is our lovely state on the income tax? How many months are we behind? Four or five. 
I think uh, I'm actually going to do that memo tomorrow, I think. I think they're four. Four months. I think they're four. Which they've been rolling right between the three and four month mark for a year and a half or two years now. So. We haven't been to that. Okay. All right. Um, I was in adjournment, right? I had a, I got a motion a second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We're done. We'll be taking a couple minute breaks because she said. Approve the minutes for February 9th, 2012. That is my motion. I'll second it. Corrections? Questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Report and recommendation. Um, work awarded work order awarded to Baxter and Woodman for design engineering service for 2012-2013 elderly replacement program not to exceed ten thousand dollars that is my motion do I have a second second questions all in favor no, oh, no. go ahead what is Art? Uh, just one question does this complete the alleys after after this Yes. John. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Very, very simply, no. Um, there are some dead end alleys that we were actually just speaking about that don't aren't through alleys, but there are some alleys left. So how many of these locations are we talking about? One, two. Off the top of my head, there are three dead end alleys remaining. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Joe. Kramer? We did not finish any dead end alleys or what we view as properties that are alleys but then dead end as driveways and are functioning as driveways. Those we did not complete. What we completed in the alley program this past year and what will be finished this March with the alley behind Marino's That's what Plaza, I was going to ask if that, that market, marketplace uh, alley was going to be redone this, this year. They just got done doing what, sewer work? AT&T uh, had to move some duct out of the way that was in the county right away. We yep. requested that work done so we could tie our storm sewer into it. Yeah. All right. Okay. I, that's because they put blacktop on it. Okay. I, I was just wondering when that that one had to be done yet. Correct. That that's, was just that's the a last big patch. one, isn't it? Uh, correct. That's the longest alley still remains. Is uh, the one by uh, Edgewood uh, on the South side of uh, uh, Urban Park going to be done. That short one that's behind them, behind uh, the chiropractic place going to be done. Is that the dead end alley? Yes. As of right now, no, that is not scheduled to be done. All right. Okay. So I want to know. I'll be Roy Wesley. Put a $10,000. How many alleys are there? One. One? One alley. What alley is that? The one behind existing Tom's Axe and where Bella Fina's property used to be between Maple and Catalpa, north of Irving Park Road. It currently does not connect. We will be connecting those two streets. That was what was selected in the CIP. Um, we had put it in there as an upgrade to actually improve that area by connecting that alley, allowing those residents to alternate between those two streets with a safety improvement by not going on Irving Park Road. Okay. I got it. Air Police. I got a question, Jen. I have quite a few residents in a couple areas ask if some of those alleys can become one ways. Because some of them are two way, correct? All the alleys are two way traffic. All of them. Well, maybe, I don't, I don't think we have any problem. Some residents were asking. I think the reason is that we did them two ways for the snow plowing, basically in, in the fire apparatus to come behind the alleys if we, they have to get back there. Mr. Kramer. The only alley that I know specifically that has some one-way traffic is the alley behind um, or in front of Holy Ghost Church, depending on how you're looking at it. Near the post office, it's two-way traffic. When it gets to that Holy Ghost, that is sectioned off because it's an egress point for Holy Ghost to get out onto Oakwood. So that's why it was 
determined to go that way. So that is marked off one way, mainly probably because the the ending point is, uh, uh, excuse me, is Wooddale Road, and that would be a quagmire to pull out onto Wooddale Road either direction. So I think that's why they did that. There was some talk about behind the tobacco shop making that one way at one point, and that never went any further. We'd be willing to work with the police department if that was something you would like to entertain. But right now, as I said, there really is only, most alleys are two-way traffic minus that one portion behind Holy Ghost for the reasons I said. Okay. Any other questions? There's a motion on the floor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, report on reclamation contract award to MDL Tree Service for a three year brush removal contract in the amount not to exceed $169,500. That is my motion. I'll second. Question. I'm in Roy Wesley. Sam, the, this alternative, that was for the extra month? Mr. Kramer. Is that right? Correct. The alternate was for the month of May for each of those years, $9,000 each May, totaling 27000 That was the alternate on the first page. And um, the budget was... 80000 for a year? That's what I had submitted in the budget. The budget has not been approved yet. That was the estimate that I had originally given uh, the city council. I don't believe they've actually seen the budget yet, but okay, so that's the number I placed in there. The previous year was $100,000. The last year we did the contract. This current budget year, we have $0 budgeted for brush collection. <laughs> Mr. Kramer. Um, it was right, it started at 98,000 was the first year. The second year was just over 101 and the third year was 103. I think it went up by about $2,500 each year for the previous contract. Mr. Wilson, can you tell me how much we put in the budget for this year that they he submitted? Since you have the budget book there. Certainly. Just 83 cents. Uh, the total uh, for that line item uh, in the proposed budget that's coming to you tomorrow is $95,000. 80 for this and then 15 for other forestry, maybe some tree replacements, uh, things of that nature. Okay, so it is in this year's budget unless you hack it. So uh, that is my motion. Do I, did I have a second? Yeah. I had a second. Any other questions? <coughs> Yeah, my question is being that this is coming in a lot higher. Uh, originally, roughly, we were running 100,000. The city council complained about the 100,000. Now we're coming back at 169. Uh, no, no, no. No, no. no. That's for three, three years. This is three years. For three years. The other one was in one year. So it's Take 169 the, for all three years? The yes. total amount for all three okay. years. Yes. Okay. I'm good. It's a three year contract. Okay. <clears throat> Any others? Mr. Kramer. Thank you. Um, I totaled it out at the bottom, and it's 56500 per year for three years. That's what it would equate out to be. Um, we did put an, another alternate in the actual base bid, as I spelled out, um, where it said if we had the ability or the want to go to ask MDL to do some additional work for the city, um, if there was a severe storm that went through, and they gave us a pricing of $300 an hour. Um, <coughs> And you know, again, that's not part of the contract. That was just a T&M price that um, you know we wanted to have as a in our back pocket should the need arise and should the city manager decide um, or city council that an emergency exists and we need to take out some additional brush out of town. But that number was in there as well. So basically, tonight you're approving a three-year contract for the total value of 169,005. That equates out to 56,005 a year. The previous year was, um, or the previous contract was roughly $100,000 a year, or totaling over three years, $300,000. So that's the difference. And this is six months contract, May through October. The previous contract was March through October, eight months. Again, the difference in price, we had only two bidders. 
the last contract this year, we had four bidders. The two of the bidders in town, or excuse me, two of the bidders this year are local. Um, uh, they're local. They're in Addison. Previously, we did not have any local bidders bid on. I think that's a lot. Has to speaks to a lot of why the price difference is there. Fuel, trucking, etc. Yeah, Jen. Uh, as far as the pickups, is it? It's going to be all in one week, all four wards, or is it going to? Is it going to go back to a ward one, week one, ward two, week two, or are you, are you doing it? It'll be exactly the way the last program ran, last full week of each month. All the entire city will be picked up. Okay. Yeah, let's, Mr. Coles, I, uh, MDL is a very good outfit. So you you we you had work done by them here many times, and uh, I've had work done them. They're they're a real good outfit, and uh, I'm glad that you that they came in as lowest bidder on this project because as far as I'm concerned, they, they do a good job. And they pick up and they clean up. And they're, they're one of the best jobs around as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. Any other questions? I have a motion, I have a second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No opposed, I didn't consider future meetings. Does anyone have anything? I make a, make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No opposed. Thank you.